is a, an experienced Toastmaster who has successfully completed both the leadership and communication pathways. She's been a member of Hopkins Toastmasters for more than seven years. She has served as many roles of officers of Hopkins Toastmasters Club. Additionally, she has acted as officer leading Area 62 and also Division M. Mona Muhammad continues to be a dedicated Toastmaster who is eager to advance the field. So I'm really delighted to welcome Mona to join us this afternoon to tell us how to plan for future success of Toastmasters. Thank you for Thank coming, you. Mona, Thank you for, for this session. Now, Mona, currently, as Toastmasters, we strive to fulfill the communication pathways and the leadership pathways by following the various projects that are aimed to help us develop in those roles. How will our future as Toastmasters develop? What, what would you suggest would be future goals for us to use in, in terms of developing? Thank you, Jim, for uh, inviting me here, and thank you for the audience for coming. Uh, actually, you have heard about the revitalized educational program. I'm sure most Toastmasters have heard about it. This now it has a new name, it's called Pathways, or Pathways Learning Experience. And so we should anticipate as District 18 to start it around fall of this year. Fall of this year. Yes, and no worries because we, will, we are now inviting pathway guides who are from the clubs who will learn how to use this new program and teach other Toastmasters. So you need not to worry about it. So the main change is the content of the manuals. So Toastmasters International found out that it has been years, the contents of these manuals have not been updated. Now with Pathways, uh, after they have been working on it since 2010, they invited learning masters. These learning masters are Toastmasters who had degrees, master's degrees or PhDs in education. And they asked them to look at this project and to update it. Not only update it, it's going to also to have online and uh, digital resources. Like to prepare for a project, you can go online. Um, you will start uh, something called base camp. You will go online and you will be able to prepare online using, using these digital resources through Basecamp. It will take you um, through the program online. If you are not uh, computer savvy and wish to stay with the you know, print, you will still be able to purchase the updated manuals. So um, you don't have to worry about this and I invite the club members to submit an application to District 18 leadership if you would like to be a pathway guide. And you will take credit for that. It's a, it's a great credit. Well, that sounds really fascinating, Mona. So are you suggesting now that we are no longer going to use any of the current manuals, that that is all going to change in September? It, so it's completely going to take the shift to the new program after three years, in, uh, two to three years. In the next two years, the two programs will be going hand in hand. So a club like this, some of us will be using the old program if you want to finish a certain um, you know, educational goal and some other will start with the new program. This will go concurrently for two years, and I expect maybe it could be longer until it's completely shifted to the new program. And of course, make sure to understand that the club experience will not change. So the club experience, you still need to come here, give your projects and give your talks. There will still be the ah counters, grammarians, timers, all this, so the club experience did not change. It's mainly the update of the content of the manuals. I see, so 
then you would be suggesting that people who join Toastmasters from the beginning then start out with the Pathways program from the start, is that So let's say, let's say uh, we will start uh, in October, November. The new members would start with the new program by October, November. And I want to tell you that three districts across the world, one of them in DC, have already piloted the program. It's wonderful feedback from the districts. Like Toastmasters International thought that the phone will not stop ringing. They are getting wonderful feedback from the uh, members who piloted the program. And the, the, so they never heard, like the load was not as they expected. And also uh, now I want to tell you that the communication and the leadership track will be one. Oh really? It's not gonna be two tracks, so it's gonna be one and you will take credits. It's, so the benefits is enormous. Digital content, much better in mentoring, much better in evaluation. Um, you will learn new attributes, new leadership skills, and um, the digital and resources, the digital content. And if you have heard in NIH, you are a researcher about the open access. The open access is also implemented in Toastmasters. This means that at any time when you are in a conference or uh, you can you know, access through your phone or your tablet and download uh, any material as, a, as you wish. We have only a few more minutes, uh, only a few more moments, Mona. So what concluding remarks can you provide to the club about approaching their future education? So I just tell them, don't worry. If they are using the old program, keep on going. Don't uh, throw your old manuals. You can still keep on working on it for the next two years, and it's going to be fine. If anyone here is interested as a pathway guides, please come up, and uh, if you have any questions, I'm ready to speak with you. Well, it's wonderful to have that information about the future. Thank you so Thank much. You, Thank you.